You are in a pit of rants. This one's for Hell Itself, who says, I want you to rant about Yoshiyuki Tomino, a.k.a. the Gundam guy, a.k.a. the Garzi's wing guy. Tomino is a madman. Um, I mean, you can see most of my thoughts about him in, like, my other videos where I've talked about Gundam or uh, g Reco, but, I mean... I really think that Tomino is himself a new type. He has a very chaotic and lateral impression of the way that things are, and it's very difficult for him to boil that down into something that is, like, communicable to people. So his characters are all, like, very emotional and irrational and just take, like, uh, wild actions and scenes play out quickly, and he's very obsessed with the idea of, like, showing how in wartime things are so chaotic that shit just is, like is beyond your ability to really comprehend and take in at once. And, and also to show how people making emotional decisions, you know, cause all these problems back and forth that continue the war going. And, like, the shows are just fascinating to behold. You know, he he really takes it as, like, just a, a causal run from one end to the other um, with, like, you know, I, I feel like he probably doesn't write his stories knowing exactly how they're going to end, you know? It's it's more like he's just following these characters through um, as they react to one another, you know, which is what makes it such a compelling war narrative. Uh, but yeah, like, when he is really off his rocker and he's not, like, communicating what the fuck is going on, then it's madness. Like, Garzi's Wing feels like a script that had all of the fat trimmed out of it to an extent that is not actually possible to follow and uh, and makes no sense. Like, as though there was a longer cut of it that got destroyed or, you know, ripped in half or something. Um, but, like, that's just the nature of it because that's also the nature of, like, uh, King Geiner or um, fucking uh, Turn A. Like, all these shows, just, like, shit happens fucking constantly and it can be really, like, Difficult to even parse and keep up with, but, um, I like it. I like his style. I'm probably going to, like, binge all of Tomino's stuff again at some point that I haven't seen. I mean, I haven't seen most of it, but, like, I've, um, you know, seen a bunch. But I'd love to see it all because he's a fascinating, fascinating man, and I think he had a massive impact on the kinds of people who would become interested in the industry because of the his approach. So, uh, yeah, I would love to look more into Tomino.